A Turkish saying, if there is no harakat, there is no barakat. If there is no barakat, there is no rahmat. If there is no rahmat, there is no muhabbat. But understand that muhabbat comes at the last. Before you reach to the stage of muhabbat. And what is muhabbat? What is muhabbat? <coughs> love, but it's more than love. It is closeness. It is service. It is forgiveness. It is passion. People want the muhabbat, the love to be in the beginning. That's fake. <coughs> you cannot just come in and say, I love you. You love me. Everything has to have a proof. If you say that there is proof even about prophethood, you have to have a proof of prophethood. So in order to get the muhabbat, you have to go through so many steps. And the first step is harakat. What is harakat? Activity, action, service. You understand? Service. You cannot get muhabbat through just coming in, having tea and coffee and sitting down and <coughs> having nice, nothing to do, nothing to put your mind and your heart and your spirit in to show, to produce something. Very soon, all that social activity, it'll turn, even if you're talking about Allah and His Prophet. Wassalam, that will turn easily into what? Malayani. You start talking nonsense, gossiping, slandering, talking, backbiting, isn't it? Isn't that what is happening in the majority of the places, majority of the masjids? Isn't that what is happening? First, you have to have a harakat, and harakat it is a service. And what did Saadi of Shiraz, Hazrat Lari is saying, religion, it is what? Religion, it is not found in your prayer beads or your remembrance. Religion is not found in your prayer beads or remembrance. Where is it found? In service. King Sai Saint is writing poetry too. Saudi. Hazrat Lari is saying, the religion is not found in prayer beads. Your religion, it is in service. If you serve, you will have muhabbat down the road. What you give, you're going to get. You give muhabbat, you will receive it. And they will test you about your muhabbat. You will test your love. Don't think just because you say it is true. Don't think that just because you say you're going to receive. Those who really put in their hearts, and their hearts are getting broken, and they say, Ewa Allah, Alhamdulillah, I'm doing this for the sake of Allah. I'm not looking for people to praise me or to curse me. Doesn't matter. Still they're doing it. And they're doing it, and they're continuing that way. One day Allah will just open it, and the muhabbat will come to them. And they will see themselves in the company of the righteous ones and the saints of Allah. Because they found themselves in the heart of the awliya Allah. So from harakat, from activity, first, you're going to get blessings. Meaning there is no blessings if there is no activity. You understand? Men's or women's? And after you get the blessings, the barakat, then you get rahmat. How you say rahmat? Compassion. Mercy. Which means those ones who are really making service, they must have mercy in their hearts. Impossible for that one making service and there's no mercy in the hearts. Don't look at what the tongue may say sometimes. Look at what the heart is. The tongue may say certain hot things, but we see even if he's yelling and cursing or whatever, but day and night, what is he being busy with? To make things easy for you and me? To serve the derga? That is where we should look. Other than that, that is just hot words, cold words, it's just method. 
So that one who does work, he must have mercy in his heart. And when you have the mercy, then you will have the love. Don't jump straight to love. Don't be foolish ones. You do that first, it's showing your ego. And second, it's showing that you don't have too much intelligence and you're not being sincere because the love comes with a very, very heavy price. And don't ask to buy something when you don't have the credit for it. So, yes, it is true, but for those who feel a lot of love here, we're looking because they give that love. They give so much uh, service. And for them, I'm watching, it doesn't matter to them what says what, who says what, because they are just concentrating on that. The sincerity comes. People treat them with sincerity and respect too. Even if a couple of people, even if no one treats them with sincerity or respect, they're happy because they say, my Lord has accepted my service. And then that time you feel that, yes, this is, this is, I can't explain. I want to be here. I know nobody's perfect. I know we go up and down. What are you doing? You're starting to make your lives to be intertwined here. And you start to make a history. And with that, we may make a future. This is supposed to be for the whole ummah. But if the concentration is on dunya, you can never have this. If the service that you're doing, it is for dunya, to get a payment for the dunya is not going to work. If you do the service for your ego, it is not going to work. But you do the service with what? With ikhlas. What is ikhlas? Sincerity. Sincerity without expecting anything in return. Ikhlas. And sincerity is one third of the Quran. Ikhlas, it is one third of the Quran. If you recite Suratul Ikhlas three times, <laughs> you make a hatim of the Quran. Which is why we recite it three times before we say the takbir to make the fast prayer. It is a very important part of our faith. So to do it with ikhlas. Not to expect anything. Not to say, I'm doing so good, why are people treating me this way? People are people, you don't know. Maybe that one doesn't mean it. Maybe that one is going through something. <laughs> Isa is saying what? If your enemy smacks you on the right, offer your left cheek. That is spirituality. And it's giving that kind of spirituality to a group of people who's hearts are very hard. They are doing everything correctly according to the law, but it's coming because he is Ruhullah to give the spirit inside that law, otherwise it is going to be empty. And the Holy Prophet is saying what? You see your brothers, your sisters doing something wrong, don't judge. Find 70 excuses for that person before you judge. These days, nobody even finds seven excuses, something, and they say. They react, they respond. If you judge, who are you judging? You don't judge the person, you judge the action. That action, you say, I don't like it, it is wrong. It is wrong in the presence of Allah. But you cannot hate the person. The action, it is wrong. And if the person says that that wrong action, it is me, then we say, then you, we don't like too much, but you are not what you think you are. Because you have the spirit also. And you have faith also inside of you. <coughs> and you have the innocence also in, inside of you, but you are not looking at that, you're looking at your ego. So we need to wake up, inshallah, Rahman, and understand. Allah is going to reward us with forgiveness. If you have Sakina in your hearts today, what is that Sakina? Tranquility. 
in your heart that no matter what happens, you are saying, Ay Allah, I forgive, that's okay. And you have that tranquility because you have unburdened your heart to Allah. Because you have been sincere to Allah. And before anything, you're asking Allah sincerely for forgiveness. When Allah has forgiven you, sincerity and enters into your heart. Then that's the time you're looking, you're going to look at everyone with mercy. You're going to look at everyone with compassion. You're going to look with everyone with that love. Then you're not forcing yourself to find 70 excuses. May Allah forgive me and bless all of you. May Allah bless our Shaykh. Inshallah, may we continue this. This is our life. And we are happy. We're trying to lead very simple life. On the top of a mountain. If you like it, come join us. Wa min Allahu tawfiq al-Fatiha. Amin. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Tamam. Allah, 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 Allah,
When this earth was not created, when there was no time was created, when there was no moon, when there was no sun, when there was no sky, when the secret of truth had not yet been revealed on, upon anyone, at that time there was nothing, at that time there was nothing, yes, but there was you, Allahu, Allahu, Allahu. In the night of Miraj, the Mustafa reached to the arch, and at that time there was no separation from the one from the worshiper and the one that is worshipped. And at that time, the, even the angels prostrated themselves and said to Holy Prophet ﷺ, "Amongst all the creation, amongst all the creation, you're the one that the truth has been revealed upon." Are you, I'll help you, you know the words, right? 